Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video. Today, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame a lion in Atlas. So, if you folks enjoy this video and find it useful, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. Okay, so once you've got your lion in a trap, very, very important, you need to remember that it is an aggressive creature and it can bite and it does snag onto you so it does kind of uh, catch you. You need to take it out by doing damage to its health. You need to bring its health down as much as you can. It does do damage as you just saw there. So a front approach is not a good approach on this. Uh, as you just saw there, it will hit you. Now, what I found works well with this trap is if you hit it from the corner over here, it will try and hit you. But it will not actually do damage to you. It's quite rare that that happens. For some odd reason, he's not able to do damage to me whilst I'm around the corner. Uh, don't go in the cage with him because he will get you and it will do a lot of damage. Once you've brought its health down sufficiently, bolo it. Now the lion does prefer, of course, uh, raw prime meat. Now you can get raw prime meat by killing and harvesting cows and bulls. Uh, to get that, you will need a pickaxe. That is what I use. I think uh, hatchet will do as well. Obviously, one of them will yield more meat and the other one will give more hide. It doesn't really matter. You don't really need all that much meat. And as you can see, it takes about 34 seconds between feeds. So, if you time it right, you should be able to get three feeds in per bowler. Uh, it does take a long time to tame the lion. It takes about half an hour to do so. And before you decide to take uh, the task on of taming the lion, make sure that the environment of the trap is clear. So, obviously, around here we do get a lot of elephants spawning in. And I've had a few issues with them killing off the lions. Now, the lions will obviously, whilst it's down, damage the cage. It only does two damage per bite so it's not a lot bearing in mind that the structure has 10,000 HP however it will uh, on occasions or it does have the potential of hitting an elephant or a bull whilst it's down as they do wander close to the trap so you want to clear out the environment now of course the reason I mentioned about your environment being clean is because I have lost three lions trying to do this uh, due to the elephants getting too close to my trap. See, there's one that has spawned in, and I need to keep an eye on it. If it gets too close, I will have to take it out. Uh, obviously, um, if I don't and it falls into the trap with the lion, whilst the lion is aggroed on me and the cage, it will hit the cage, possibly even hit the, lion, uh, the elephant, and then the elephant will hit it back and kill the lion. So that is not a good thing do make sure the environment is clean as you can see i am at a distance where the lion does not attempt to bite me so the way you find this distance is you just gently edge forward until you see the feeding prompt the feeding timer don't go any closer than that because then you will be within the lion's range now occasionally the lion may try and bite at you but will bite the cage um but it's not able to do so. Obviously, do it from the back of the head, not the front, because that is a safe spot. It does have an AoE at the front. It is quite a um, biggish AoE. It will get you, basically. So I am basically in line with the lion's ears, and that's how you safely feed it whilst it is down. Um, I hope it does not bite the cow. See, that is problematic. Now, I'm going to make sure that, okay, it's always the cows, uh, particularly the bulls that worry me, and the elephants. Uh, there are obviously other creatures that are passive until uh, hit, so do bear that in mind. Now, I'm prepared to hit it again as it will get up, and as I said before, I'm going to go from the uh, ramp as he seems to be here, and he will not 
be able to hit me he will try also do bear in mind i am quite lucky in this particular video he seems to have gotten himself stuck in this corner he will run around so do time your hit carefully there is a small gap where you can get close enough to hit the lion without the lion hitting you uh, it's difficult to time if the lion is moving around and for the first part of the tame he may run around the cage so you do need to time it and focus on that uh, another good thing to do is to get him to pop his head where the ramps are um, and just do what I did in my previous video with the elephant and use the ramps for cover just run forward one swipe back out wait for it to do a hit or perform a hit back in again with uh, a run one swipe back out and just take your time with this he will do damage to you if he catches you also suggest for the purposes of this particular time having a bed to spawn by uh, next to the trap in case you do get killed of course this is a lot easier to do with two people however i'm doing this solo it is doable solo so do bear that in mind uh, you might also want to have a bed nearby in case you need to spawn in maybe enclose it as well just to be on the safe side and as you can see it's not all that complicated it's actually easier to tame than the bull okay so he's gonna get back up again so i'm preparing myself i'm setting myself up uh with the ramps which is to my left once he's up i will go and perform a swipe i don't get too close as well or if I get too close, I back out as fast as I can. But always back out, don't go to the side, as you will aggro it and he may end up hitting you. So that's also a possibility. Now he's nearly tamed. And he needed uh, about a stack of prime meat, basically. So kind of 20. I would obviously bring more than that because um, the prime meat does spoil. So. You have to factor that in as well. I don't recommend using um, a rifle on the lion to kite it into the trap. I'd probably use a ranged weapon such as a bow. The rifle does too much damage and will kill it in one shot. With regards to kiting it into the trap, it's very similar to the one with the elephant where you want to kite it from a distance if you can. So I would normally stand to the edge of the trap, uh, align myself in such a way so that the lion has a direct path to me. And then once it's close, I jump in, then run out. Uh, kiting it, as I said, don't use the rifle. It does too much damage to the lion. It will kill it. And so I recommend bows. Obviously, this is a level 3 tame, so you do need to unlock Beast Mastery level 3 in your skill tree to tame it. It does also require that for the saddle, so it needs a level 3 saddle once it is tamed. Now, on occasions, uh, depending on how quickly you take it down between feeds, you may get one uh chance to feed it twice or the other chance to feed it three times it really depends on the timers and how quickly you take it down as the timer of course does not reset once the lion is up it does continue counting down so do bear that in mind whereas in my case i was fortunate enough for the lion to spend most of its time in this corner making it easy for me to take it down quite quickly so sometimes i only managed to get two feeds on it once tamed, the lion is a good combat mount. It can take down pretty much anything, obviously within reason. Uh, it does have the ability of taking down the elephant. Uh, obviously, that is once tamed, and if it is of a decent level. Uh, it also does harvest meat. It does not harvest any prime meat, so do bear that in mind if you're trying to harvest prime meat off of uh, the bulls. Uh, I think it does harvest, but very little, so you might want to resort to a pickaxe or a hatchet that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful if you have please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. And finally, for those that are interested, you can always find me on the Setopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below. 
in the video description as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe folks.